From Fox 55 Sports, this is The Locker Room. I said before the, before this weekend, we're going to learn a lesson that we're good enough, uh, where, where it instills belief in you, knowing you can beat anybody, or it's going to create doubt. And uh, I think we leave here on Sunday night uh, doubting, you know, are we as good as we hope we are? Or is that something that we just keep telling ourselves because the seven games that we've uh, played against uh, – a different opponent this year. We've only won two of them, one against Jacksonville, one against Wichita out of those seven. And uh, we know we can beat Indian Wheeling, but we're not going to face them. So for us, we got to find a way to uh, beat another team. And, um, you know, it's, it's a difficult weekend. I think it was a step back. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, uh, brutal honesty. That's what you just heard here from Fort Wayne Comets head coach Ben Boudreaux after last Sunday's regular season home finale. The Caves closing out the weekend with back-to-back -back losses against the Wichita Thunder. And Pete, with the playoffs right around the corner, the Comets currently trending in the wrong direction at the wrong time. Yeah, Fort Wayne has now lost five of their last seven, and the offense has essentially disappeared. Going into tonight, the Caves had only been able to muster seven goals in their last five games. That includes a 1-0 loss at the hands of the Indy Fuel back on May 16th. Sean Romeo stole that one for Indy that night, stopped 33 shots in a shutout win. Tonight, Comets looking for a little revenge down in the Circle City, and both goalies were good in this one. Early on, you're going to see one of 25 saves on the night for Robbie Baydoon. On Wisconsin. Stops that breakaway. This game, scoreless after one, but just over seven minutes into the second, Indy changes that. Peter Krieger with the redirect. Fuel take a 1-0 lead. It's the eighth straight game in which Fort Wayne has failed to score first. But no quit in the comments. Same score under seven minutes to play in the third period. You're going to see Anthony Nellis feed Matt Murphy, who lights the lamp on the one-timer. It's the K's first even strength goal in some 136 minutes of hockey. Tied at one, we go to overtime. And less than 30 seconds into OT, Brandon Hawkins, two on one. You're going to see him tuck away his 20th goal of the year, and that'll win it for Fort Wayne. Two to one, your final with the victory. Comets officially clinch a spot in the Kelly Cup playoffs.